So the course was a course called Creativity in Design and it was aimed at students on our Masters in Human Centred Systems. Um, so it was quite a small cohort of students for our first year, um, which uh, worked nicely. Um, and it was about applying creativity techniques um, in the development of interactive software. Um, so the f for the first half of the course, students were mainly using just kind of manual techniques. Um, and for the second half, um, they had to um, focus on their coursework, which involved building their own or designing their own creativity support tool. Um, and yeah, we used Moodle throughout as a, as a kind of platform to um, share all the basic course materials and kind of extra links to videos, websites, etc. Um, but um, more interestingly, we also use Moodle um, to support the coursework in terms of um, trying to sort of share the design activities that the groups of students were doing between weeks. So that was the, I'd say that was the more challenging part of the course from the, from the Moodle point of view. Just to kind of learn what we were going to be exposed to really. I haven't been doing much teaching so I hadn't become that embedded in city space so it felt like a good moment to kind of embrace the new technology. Um, so from the point of view of sharing basic course materials it was um, very good, very smooth, very easy, that was lovely. Um, I think we had some teething troubles with the uh, wikis so it was easy enough for students to run their kind of individual blogs. They did reflective learning blogs throughout the course and that, that seemed to be quite kind of easy and successful in Moodle. Um, the group wikis were a little bit more of a challenge in the sense that um, we, couldn't, we couldn't during the course find an easy way for them to share all their kind of multimedia materials, videos, photos and so on. So they ended up going to other mm. media sharing sites um, and then just kind of linking those back into Moodle at the end. Having said that, I think that um, we've now found a database that can be linked more directly into Moodle. So hopefully next year we'll be able to do all that within Moodle. Yeah. <laughs> they liked it. Yeah, so I, to be completely fair, at the beginning there were some teething troubles with performance issues, um, but I had the feeling that those were kind of addressed and things were running much more smoothly from kind of halfway through the course onwards. So by the end, we actually did a kind of um, evaluation within Moodle of how they, you know, how they had experienced um, the Moodle platform, and yeah, they liked it, and I think almost universally preferred it to city space. So that was a good thing. Yes. I think, yeah, that it's been easy to use, especially for the basics. Moodle's been easy to use, which has been great. Um, yeah, it just seems to like an intuitive kind of uh, structure for the materials. Yeah, that, I, you know, I'd like to sort out the um, the wikis next year. You sort of learn as you go along and improve things each year, really, don't you? Um, as Neil said, embrace it, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs>